Hello YouTube and welcome to your fourth tutorial in HTML SSS for beginners tutorial series. In the last video we covered how to make a title for the article using header tags. Um, let's say if you would be creating any kind of uh, blog or any any type of website that would, that would have articles uh, in them. So you would create that with header tags. Now let's say that not only you covered, uh, you came up with headers, but um, crazy thing, you actually came up with uh, some text to put into it. So the basic thing what you would right away start doing is you would start typing away, right? You would probably say, um, you would write some gibberish, but then you would say this is the uh, most interesting article ever. Okay, so you would think, okay, so I, I wrote a, a nice header for it for, for, for my article, and then I actually wrote the article. And maybe I, I would add that, um, you know, again, this is 2017 and um, now that you have that you're 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 very keen to save it you save it you go on a live preview and you're looking at your article and everything is fine but hey wait a minute why everything is in one line um because i actually i was using you know i was, I was pressing enter and actually in my html i was looking on the other uh, on the other line. So what's going on? Well, here's the thing. Uh, HTML is white space insensitive, meaning that it just looks at everything as this is just one big line of code. You're you're not there's there's no whatever you're going to be typing doesn't matter how many uh, how many times you press enter it's still going to read as everything is in one line. So. In order to avoid that, uh, HTML has a special tags for a paragraph. So what you do is you put in whatever text you want inside a paragraph tag. So you do it using the syntax that we learned for the paragraph. And let's save it again. Let's have a look. And now you see. Now the first uh, gibberish that you wrote is actually has the line space in between them because you put them in a paragraph but the other two still are the same in one line so by default when you're writing a paragraph uh, it creates a new line for it so let's say you would decide that uh, it's still smarter to use the paragraph tags for uh, both of them and again I'm doing this a little bit the wrong way because I'm creating the uh, paragraph tags after that and because it's brackets it's right away giving two so uh, uh, it's not very smart but let's say in this case since I already start doing that it's it's might as well just finish it this way so we just have to either cut or co copy or paste it here so again we'll save it and let's look at the live, uh, let's look at the live preview and see we have all of them here. All the sentences that we wrote, because they're in paragraph tags, they start in a new, new line. Now, while we're still on a subject of white space collapsing, uh, we need to also see how it affects the actual white space. So let's say in my header, in my title of my article, I would decide to go crazy and I would be like, you know what? Uh, there should be, let's say, whatever, four or five white spaces in between. There should be four white spaces in between. And I would save it because I think that would look better on a web page. And I go back to my Chrome and I refresh it. And nothing has changed. And I refresh it again. And now I'm thinking, well, there's something wrong with the brackets. Well, it isn't. The thing with the HTML and being white space in... Uh, white space collapsing, what it means is that uh, the browser, whenever it sees 
more than one white space, it still treats as one. So you can put 55 and 30 here, white spaces in between the article, the word article, and you would still get the same result, what we just saw over here, this one. It wouldn't change. It doesn't matter how crazy you go or how mad you get. Now, um, if we would want, let's say, within a paragraph, if we would decide that the word most, this is the most interesting article, but the word most should be in a separate line. Uh, there is a thing called uh, line break, which actually has, of course, its own tag. And again, I'm creating here double one. So I might as well just what I do, take it here and I get rid of this one and I make it like this. So once we save it and we go back to the Chrome and we refresh the page, you see that the most is actually on a separate line um, because it's, it's using the right line break. Now one last thing before the end of the tutorial, I just want to show you guys something uh, which is a horizontal li line break. And let's say in between the paragraphs, if you would want to put something like this, where you have a horizontal line running through the paragraphs. So you would see here, this is the syntax for a horizontal line break. And again, we save it and we refresh it. And we see that we have the horizontal line break. Okay, in between the uh, paragraph one and paragraph over here, which has the line break. Uh, this will be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.